hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel so nice to see you again welcome to the trees tribe this is and that is trees and of course i am trees okay y'all so i have been like dreaming about this look ever since i saw this glitter in shop miss a that's where i got it from and i'll have it linked down below as to the color and all that good stuff but i automatically thought hmm cool toned gray hmm so that's kind of where this look came from. I love the way it turned out. I wasn't exactly sure how it was gonna go, but sometimes those are the best looks, right? You just kind of wing it and hope for the best. Make sure you are subscribed to the tribe if you are not already because I'm not gonna keep explaining this. I'm not gonna keep chasing you down and telling you how I want you, okay? Either you get with it or you get with it. And also make sure you thumbs up this video if you liked it, if you liked me, if you thought it was helpful, if you liked the look, it really assists me. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, everything will be listed in the description box below as far as products go because I know when I start doing my face, it kind of, I, I stop showing the products. So they will be down there per the usual as well as this wig, links to it, all the stuff that you wanna know. So make sure you check the description bar. As always, I love you and I appreciate you so much for watching. And if you wanna see how I got this pretty, cool toned with pink, silver glitter type of look, then just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so I know this is a cool toned look, but I apologize for this cool toned lighting, okay? Listen, I thought it, listen, my light has been playing me lately, but I still wanted to get this video to you guys. So I just primed my lids with LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige, and then I set that. And then I'm going into Hush, it's either Hush or Hush Hush, in the Bling Boss Palette by Jaclyn Hill. And this is going to be our transition shade in our crease. So we're just putting that all up in there with a fluffy brush, not going too high, but high enough above my natural crease because it's kind of low. Now I'm going into Cool Gray in my Lorac Pro 2 palette or Pro Palette 2. And I'm placing that a little bit below the Hush color that we put from the last palette. So we're gonna be creating a layering effect of grays and that's what's really going to make the effect that we want. So going back into Hush Hush, I'm just diffusing any edges on the look so that it blends together seamlessly. Now going into this gray in the Lorac Pro Palette 2. I think it's called Charcoal. I'll have it down below just to be sure. But I'm placing that down with a small brush and then I'm blending it out with a fluffy brush. So I like to place down color first. And now I'm using that same LA Girl Pro Concealer, Pure Beige, and I'm cutting my crease. I'm not going to cut my crease super high like I normally do. I kind of wanted to keep it on the low low for this look. So just creating a rounded cut crease, not winging it out, flicking it out, or any of that. And take your time. Cut creases can be a hassle, especially when you have low eyelids. But it is doable, sis, okay? So just take your time. And I'm not going to take it all the way to the end. I'm going to blend in the gray and the concealer about mm, close to the end. So now I'm taking that color from the Bling Boss palette, not completely sure of the name, I will have it down yonder, and I'm placing that all over my lid. I'm not expecting this to be super popping, it's just gonna be a base for my glitter because I didn't wanna go straight from concealer to glitter. So this is kind of another buffer to make sure my glitter stands out. I'm taking my NYX Glitter Primer and placing that on top of that glittery slash satiny shadow we just put down and I apologize if you can hear some rain it is raining cats dogs sins and regrets outside so now I'm placing this glitter it's a loose glitter from shop miss a I'll have the color down below but it's this pretty pink and silver pearl mix and then I'm just going back and blending in the gray with the glitter once I have placed it down. So I'm using that small brush to kind of get those edges together. And now we're gonna be working on the outer edge of the eye. So I'm taking all of the colors I used in my crease on the outer edge. So cool gray, then I'm taking that charcoal gray, and then I believe I'm gonna go into that black in the palette as well, yep. And I'm placing that on the very outer corner. So I place down first and then I blend out with my brush. Now this is a smaller area, so I'm using that smaller domed brush 
in order to diffuse all the colors together so it's not just glitter to the end of the eye. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. liquid liner. This liner is really good and I like the tip on it. And I am not creating a full wing, I'm just creating a line to hide my lash band and kind of tie the look together. Then I'm going to pop on some mist lashes in M368. I'll have that all in the description bar, but I've worn those lashes like four times, so I didn't feel a need to show them. And we're going to just jump straight into the face after this. A pow! Hey, so we are now putting on our Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. I love this primer. It blurs out any pores you may have and creates a smooth canvas. And now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Matte Made Foundation in D15. Splattering that all over my face and I'm going to buff that in with my Eco Tools sponge. This sponge has taken over my life. I find it way better than the other sponges I've been using. And then I'm just going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. And on top of that, I'm going to put Pure Beige just for a little bit extra light. And we're going to buff that in as well. So now I am cream contouring with my Ruby Kisses Mineral Concealer in Caramel and just going to buff that in in the areas I normally contour, cheeks, forehead, a little bit under my jawline. Now I am just placing some black opal powder in 400 medium in the areas I normally put it on my face, on my nose, forehead, and my chin just to kind of tie everything together. And then I'm going on top of that with my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder to brighten certain areas. So under my eye, on my chin, my forehead, and I'm gonna place some down the bridge of my nose so I know where I need to go around in order to contour. And I pat my powders in, I don't let them kind of just sit on the face and get dry. And so now I'm going in to contour with this Nika K Contour Duo. I've used this a billion times. And then I'm going underneath my contour with a mix of the Makeup Revolution powder and my Black Opal powder. And then I'm contouring my nose with that same powder and a smaller brush I used in my crease. Then I'm going in my waterline with a black auto liner by Jordana, the one I use to kind of draw my moles on. And then I'm taking the black from that palette and placing that underneath where I placed that black liner. And then we're going to go in with those grays to smoke everything out and connect it to the top. So cool gray and that charcoal color. And then we're buffing that with a smaller domed brush. Now I'm using my Oh, I think this is Maybelline. It's the mascara from the 90s I always use. And I'm defining my upper and lower lashes to blend my lashes with the false ones. Then I'm just blending out any excess powder on my face while I am getting it, okay? Now I'm taking Milani Romantic Rose Blush. I haven't used this in a hot minute. And I'm placing that on my cheeks. And then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Baked Bronzer or Baked Highlighter, I should say in Moon Pearls. I thought it went really pretty with the silver in the eyes. And I'm placing that in all of the normal areas. Nose, cheeks, and then I'm drawing on faux moles. Now I'm taking this silver glittery shade in the Lorac Pro 2. I thought it'd be pretty in the inner corner. I was really kind of just testing it out and fishing and it ended up cute. So there we go. Now I am setting my face with the e.l.f. Matte Made Setting Spray or Matte Magic Child, one of them. And then I am patting in the powder and the setting spray with my Eco Tool sponge, just defining the front of my wig because it was looking a little, little shysty. And then I'm just brushing my hair. Now I'm going to line my lips with this Ruby Kisses brown liner. I think it's an espresso or chocolate, a brown color. And then I'm going on top of that with Honeymoon. It's a lip lingerie by NYX. 
And then on top of that, I'm going in with Kapow by ColourPop, and that is it.